In chemistry, we define a solution as a homogeneous mixture. I want to start by taking a little bit of time to talk about what we mean when we say homogeneous mixture, starting with the word homogeneous. Homogeneous is a word that we use to describe a mixture that has a uniform appearance. When we say that something has a uniform appearance, this just simply means that all of the components of the mixture look exactly the same. So when we look at that mixture, we cannot distinguish the components from each other. Let me give you an example of homogeneous. This is a glass of Kool-Aid. And when we look at this glass of Kool-Aid, we cannot see the individual components of the Kool-Aid. So when we look at this glass, we can't see the water molecules separate from the food coloring, separate from the sugar molecules or whatever other components might be in there. All we see is one uniform or similar appearance. And that's what we mean when we say homogeneous. It looks exactly the same. Now in terms of mixture, you all know that a mixture is just a combination of two or more things. That's how we would use the word in everyday language. In chemistry, our definition is a little bit more specific. A mixture is two or more things that have been combined in what we call a non-fixed ratio. A non-fixed ratio just simply means that there are multiple ways that these components can be put together and we would still end up with the same, um, the same substance. So we can put the ingredients together in more than one way. If we go back to the Kool-Aid analogy, if you're making a pitcher of Kool-Aid, you need one packet of Kool-Aid. That's one, one ingredient. And you need some sugar, let's say one cup of sugar. I'm not sure exactly how much sugar goes into Kool-Aid. And then you also need some water. Maybe it's eight cups of water. I'm not sure what the actual recipe is for Kool-Aid. But these are the ingredients that we put together, and this is the ratio, one packet to one cup of sugar to eight cups of water. But there isn't a specific rule that says that these ingredients have to be combined in this way. Like, so you could add less water uh, if you wanted it to have a stronger flavor. You could add less sugar if you wanted it to be not so sweet. And so this is what we mean when we say a non-fixed ratio. We can vary the amount of each ingredient and we're still gonna end up with the same substance. It might not taste the same, it might not taste as good, but these components together, we're still going to identify them as Kool-Aid. So um, now let's move on to talk about solutes and solvent. In, within a solution, we recognize all of the different components of the solution as being either a solute or a solvent. So we're gonna say here that the solutions consist of these components and we call these components the solvent and the solutes. So it doesn't matter what you're combining together, like a packet of Kool-Aid and sugar and water. Um, one of these components is gonna be classified as the solvent and the rest of them are gonna be classified as the solutes. The solvent is the component that we have the most of. So this is the component of the solution that is present in the greatest amount. It's the thing, again, the thing that we have the largest quantity of. So for Kool-Aid, the thing that we have the most of is water. And so that means that for Kool-Aid, water is the solvent. And then all the other components of our solution are just called solutes. So it doesn't matter how many we have or how, how much we have, all the other components are considered solutes. So the Kool-Aid packet would be a solute and the sugar would be a solute as well. 
And again, this definition of solvent and solute, this is just based purely off of quantity. A lot of people want to always um, consider the solvent as being the liquid or the solvent as being water. And that's probably because most of the time when water is present, water does end up being the solvent. But again, I really want to emphasize that this definition is just purely based off of quantity.